Vogue, you are home for the first time in so long. And it feels so good. And of course, you're home for this incredible brand new show. So what does it feel like to be part of the first ever series of The Big Deal? It's been so amazing. Like, I'm sad I have to go back to my real life after this because yeah. I love being here so much. And seeing the, like, I feel so proud of everyone that's been on the show because we don't have anyone that's not talented. Everyone is, like, high class. Mm. Like, I wouldn't be doing anything on this show. I don't know what you could do. <laughs> People know. are too good. And what do you think makes this show stand out in comparison to other talent shows? I, well, do you know what? I think the fact that you can take a deal, you can take some money. Yeah. I'm like, it's quite interesting to see who will and won't take the money. I know. I think some people are afraid to take the money, aren't they? I know. It's like it's a bad thing to take the money. And Boy George is like, take, like, take, take the it. money. Take the, the cash. Take the cash. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. It's just nail biting. I know. And one of them, I cried. I think everybody was in floods of tears for one of them. Um, and another Another one I literally was like, like take take the money. Yeah. Like, remember what they said, take the money yeah. and then no. And what do you think of our judges? Were you starstruck by any of them actually? Obviously Boy George. I, I mean know. everybody was. He's such an Boy idol. George. Yeah. Um so yeah, him a little bit, but I was kind of surprised at how normal he is and chilled out. Dear Joe okay, and I know and I just love her. Jed would have been amazing. Maybe I feel like they've been them. kind of like a curveball. We didn't expect to kind of get the comments that we've been getting from them. I feel like now they're 30, they might have grown up a little. Just a like, tiny little bit. They're still Jedward. Yeah. And then Lyra, like I'm obsessed with Lyra. She is just... Her outfits, by the way. Her outfits, I'm so excited to see them every day. I love her comments. She's mm. just brilliant. Aston is such a nice guy as well. So yeah. they're, they're really actually a nice mix and they're all very different. And of course, you brought the kids and the husband. Yeah, we kicked the husband out. He's gone back. Okay, yeah. he's gone back. And now okay. you're really working on the Irish accent with the kids. I know, I'm, tr I'm trying so hard. Theodore now says one instead okay. of one. Okay. He says, uh, he was saying after, but okay. now he says after. Okay, nice. So we're really, my sister and I are really pushing in there. He says bus. And say pass. So. <laughs> I love this. You gotta get the Forget Irish there. in there. Oh, 100 percent You'll get away with everything if he's got an Irish accent. I know. You, you're just gonna have to move home though. But what did it feel like getting that phone call saying that they wanted you to present this gig? Do you know what? It was kind of weird because they kind of were so uh like blase about it and they're like oh we've got this show and like it's coming up and we'd we'd like you to send through this thing and i was like okay i'll send it through and then i was like i kind of love that show and then they didn't make it out to be such a big deal and even when i came the first day and then i saw the stage i was like oh yeah. I'm standing on that side, like ringing my mom, being like, Mom, you have to come and see me. <laughs> so she's coming to the final. Um, but it was just, it's, you know, it's just so amazing because it's kind of what I've worked towards like yeah. my whole life. And I rang Spen and I was like, I'm just loving every second of it so much. It doesn't feel like work. It's just so much fun. I feel like I'm learning loads. The team are great. And it's just been a really lovely experience. Yeah. Well, listen, Vogue, we'll let you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>